Okay, dokely. I am back. I'm Adventure Argonaut. And I'm back to playing Xenogears. Let's just see if the stream is working. Is every stream working? No. Going on with Rumble again. Yeah, it should should be up. Ah, what's going on? What is up with all this stuff? Let's check this again. Yes, this looks about right. About this. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, now it's working at least. Even Rumble is working. Twitch, kick, Rumble. Okay, let's get back to the game. Yeah, I didn't stream yesterday at all. Because, well, there's been all sorts of interruptions. Of course, there were the political events of the um, previous week and that I wanted to talk about. But then there's even bigger news for myself. I became a father. I, I, my son was born recently and that's complicating things of course so yeah that's uh, partially why the sometimes it's more difficult to be able to schedule my streams and stuff but I'll I'll get around it somehow but anyways what are we supposed to do now? Shall we launch the Drazel? Uh, where are we supposed to go? <laughs> like I, I remember last time, you know, there was the orphanage and then the... Uh, where are we now? We are in the middle of... Let's see. Ah, uh, we, I think, yeah, we were supposed to head north here, or something, like there was something we were supposed to get, but actually I don't quite remember, like, you know, Faye is um, healing in the E-Tone temple, monastery, church, whatever it is, oh, and then there was the orphanage. Yeah, that's ugly. But I guess we'll find out if there's anything we can do here. Like, I mean, in this part of the uh, world map. Death side, you know, it, it it sounds bad because it makes me think of like, you know, an enemy with uh, ability to like, you know, insta-kill you or something. Impact gun. Okay, that was nice. Nice amount of damage. Okay, let's check, like, 
the the weapons because like so, some of the attacks just do zero damage. I'm not very impressed with that. So let's check the uh, weapons or something. Can I get them a better weapon? I guess this is better. Because it's rank AA and the other one is rank A. Fine, hot rod, yes, this weapon is not good. Okay, I guess they have the best weapons, so. Uh, not quite sure. <clears throat> Okay, agility increases in snow. I don't think we need that right now. There's no snow nearby, I guess eventually we will run into some snow or something. But not yet. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this the frame gives some agility. No, okay, it's just this thing reduces agility. I guess that's interesting. Okay, response circuit. Fine, let's equip it. I'm I'm still not sure what the um, response actually does. Like, does it make your, your, you know, action bar reload faster or something? Okay, let's let's try to get onto the continent or the island or, or whatever this is supposed to be. And right now, you know, Sigurd. You know, the, the guy who is um, maneuvering the uh, submarine, he, he usually tells you what you're supposed to do, but right now he doesn't. But I think that is a sign that we, we, we are supposed to go somewhere with the submarine. Oops, wrong. Yeah, attack the wrong enemy. Because I think these probably aren't that durable. Okay, let's try, uh, you know, double impact on this thing. Is it enough to kill it? Yes, it is. So, yeah, these aren't that tough. Double snap. Double tear. Ooh, and a level up. I have so many extra R plus fours. I, I bought some of them earlier already and then I just get uh, you know gaining more in combat. Yes I can become a merchant. Extra R merchant. Well, I I can yeah I need to find a beach so I can actually get onto that land. But is it, can I, maybe I cannot get there at all. Then what am I supposed to do? Would be nice if there was some, I don't know, journal or something that gave me a clue what, where I'm supposed to go. Because I honestly don't remember the uh, exact reason why we are in this area currently. Let's see if it 
kills it like that. This enemy has zero damage, so yeah, it's still enough to kill it. Extra R. Let's go check the uh, island that looks like New Zealand here in the uh, west. Can we get there? What is our actual destination? Ooh, one of these big guys. Okay, let's um, I guess, oh, that hurt. Let's try one of these attacks. Is it how like is a couple of these enough to kill it? Do a bit of experimentation. Like what what's the most effective way of killing these enemies? See it's still up. But maybe after a beat serpent. Beat the serpent. Yeah. Yes, that's. I, I don't think it's, there's gonna be a much better way of killing those enemies except, like, you know, basically two attacks from every character and it, like, you know, uses the least um, fuel and time. So many enemies in this part. Oh, what are those? I think I've seen them before. Airwalk sounds familiar. Yeah, I, I think I made some stupid uh, moonwalk joke the first time I saw this. Ow. Uh, not ow. Okay, let's see. This one has zero damage on it. Will this death blow kill it? Will it hit with? Okay, it's dead. Very nice, very nice indeed. Light R. I think the, the light R they uh, have de less defense that, than the extra R, but they have some other bonus. I don't remember if it was attack or response or something else. What about this island? Can we get here? I guess no. Doesn't look like this piece. Let's just see what's on this side. And uh, are there any like you know cities or villages or anything like that on these islands? It doesn't look like it. But hey, at least, you know, we are exploring the world and also gaining experience while doing it. So it's not like a complete waste of time or anything.
I, I think I see, you know, some island on the map here, so I wanna have to go here. Yes, I can see the island now. Probably can't get to it, but hey, it's iceberg. Oh no, we're gonna crash. Or Titanic. Oh no! I wonder if there's gonna be like really tough monsters in these parts. At least these things take damage. Like, you know, not not zero damage when you attack them. And they're not doing a great deal of damage. Oh, okay, they are not tough at all. They're like gnats, flies, something like that. Oh, I, I think they have done zero damage to me so far. But now I missed, so now the enemy can mock me as well. In death, they mock me. Okay, cannot go to these icebergs either. Why are these, you know, random machines attacking me? Are they, you know, controlled by one of the nations or like, you know, Gebler or Awe Kislev? Or are they just some, you know, random machines that go on haywire or, uh, I don't know, pirates or something? Just wondering, because, you know, I can understand why a random monster attack. Although, like, you know, could it really be a threat to the submarine? And then, you know, if it's not a threat to the submarine, these guys don't have to come out and beat the enemy, like... <laughs> oh, yeah, level up. Um, but, you know, of course, you're not supposed to think about these details when you're playing a <laughs> RPG like this, but, you know, since nothing uh, really is happening so that then my mind wanders okay, let's save and maybe i'll go talk to a few characters maybe they have some advice what to do this guy Ah uh, yeah, he's, he's been saying this forever. The ocean is so huge. This desert is at least had some kind of landmarks to look for. Now I can just rely on knowing the land. I also got to master the celestial measurements. Okay. Do you want to see the ship's chart? Okay, let's see if this can help us somehow. Yeah, because we are up there. There are no marks, so... But why were we in this? Like, are we supposed to go back to the orphanage or the Ethos HQ? Maybe I should just go back to the uh, orphanage because there was the hidden uh, secret entrance or something. Let's go talk to um, Maison, the butler guy, or bartender, whatever he is. Moi, has any good in lively around here? How may I be of service? Uh, I guess he's not gonna sell anything. Oh, no, there are new weapons actually, so... 
yeah, they, they slightly improve my damage, so I guess I should. Okay, not much shotgun ammo stored. Let's buy some then. Um, Oh yeah, these are the personal weapons, these are not gear weapons. Actually, she had the martial rod already. Yeah. Serpents. Okay, I don't want to waste the money, I'm gonna... Reload? Can I just reload from here or do I have to... No. Okay, I have to uh, restart. Uh-huh. Because she already had the weapon because, I, yeah, I remember the... Um, what's her name? Ellie? She has the... Um, she's... Uh, um, it's like the sleep rod or whatever, you know, it causes the enemies to fall asleep when she attacks with her weapon, but so far I th I've seen it trigger zero times, like the sleep ability. So her better, her, you know, damage wise, the other weapon was not equipped, and I guess I'm gonna equip it now. And your weaper snapper is like plus one. Yeah, I don't think the special, because Bart's whip also had some uh, magic, I mean, poison function. That wasn't very uh, useful either. At least I've seen it happen like once or twice. But I don't think you really see the, the damage it causes to the enemy. Like you can see that an enemy is getting poisoned, but... Or maybe, maybe you do actually, but it's not that much damage. But yeah, I think just di more direct damage is better. Unfortunately, because you know I like like it when you can you know um, mess around with negative status effects and stuff like that. But unfortunately, in most RPGs, they are not that useful. A serpent sting is like plus one, it's not really worth it, but I guess I wanna buy, you know, this ammo a little bit. Yeah, that, that's, that's fine. I'm not sure how much it was per, per one either, but l let's go to the hangar and see if I can buy some weapons for the gears. Well, I guess I can go heal since I'm here. Yes, I want to rest. And can we go see Margie? Yes, we can. What's this? Brim! Why are you here? Stay at the orphanage. And she doesn't say anything. Prim, won't you listen to your brother? Billy, Primera followed you here because she's worried about you. Can't you see? Let her stay a little while, okay? Well then, uh, don't you go anywhere, okay? Margie, please take care of my little sister. <laughs> hey, now, why don't you ask me that too? Because your name is Anal, that's why. <laughs> the boat suddenly started to roll, now I don't feel too good. Well, it's kinda scary. Change party members? Uh, no, I don't wanna mess around with that right now. Okay, let's go uh, here, the hangar. What do you 
want to do with your gear? Okay, when I rested, I think these were also healed and stuff, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Okay, none of this ammo is stored, so let's buy some. Okay, yeah, so the, they don't sell any other weapons except ammo. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't. Okay, let's just check tuna. Can I buy? No, I can't buy any better uh, loadout or equipment, whatever. Yeah. I've done it already, so that's good, that's very good. Come again! Yes, maybe we just have to go back to the uh, monastery where Fay is, or church, temple, whatever. Or oh, is he here? Okay, he is here already, yeah, so we don't have to go. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Ghosts don't get injured, that's no fun, is it? Oh, uh, that's, that's a weird comment. What did she mean by this? Yes, perfect, wait. Ghost ship expedition? If I didn't have... Okay, ghost ship. Where is the ghost ship? Yeah, because I, I do have some sort of recollection they they did sell me to like there there was something we were supposed to investigate, but it's like okay I guess it's a ghost ship, but where is it? And I go up to the uh, top. Okay, it's in motion. We can go there. I don't want to see your notes for the Yggdrasil. So where is the ghost ship? Come on, man. Because, like, uh... Is, is the point that we are, we are supposed to find it, that we don't know where it is? Or is it... Like, because it's not like marked on the map as a dot, because you know, most places where you can go, there's a, you know... You can see it as a dot on the map. But not this ghost ship. Like, there's probably supposed to be somewhere on the ghost ship that will help us um, to, you know, heal Faye. Snap, snap. Ooh, level up! It's a really sad one, only... HP and EP. This is much better. She got all sorts of stats. And so many extra R plus fours. Where is my ghost chair? Can I dive? You know, if this is a submarine. Should I go talk to the uh Hell, bingo. Maybe I will ask him, like, because, yeah, these controls might be a bit different than the original Yggdrasil, because this is a submarine that was a sand crawler or something. <sighs> okay. 
we are just like walking, cruising, if you stop and disembark, yeah, it's just a circle, but I guess it doesn't work when you are in the water. And yeah, we are on the bridge. So he said, I should talk to this guy. Okay, let's check it. Like, can we actually... Or is it Dazel? Like, it's, it's highlighted on Dazel, but is it really that we have to go back there? Maybe I should just check a walk through while looking around so I don't waste so much time. Uh, because there's like a chapter for each save file and so or like that you know when you check the save file you see the chapter burning souls And try to find so something in the orphanage. I'm just confused, like why were when I s reloaded the game? Why was I here, all, all the way here in the, the north? It doesn't really make sense. Like if you're not supposed to go all the way here. But let's get to the orphanage. And then I think we have to go to the uh, Eton, Eton headquarters church thing. Why are you walking so slow? Since, uh, you know, there's gonna be a few battles on the way there to the, uh, uh, to the orphanage, so, you know, I can just babble other stuff, because I remember, I think it was last week, I was supposed to explain my theory about, like, the, there's, like, a different kind of mindset for, for geeks who like, you know, stuff like science fiction and fantasy and then like, you know, the normie mind. Um, 
like different kinds of interest because you know back in the 90s and stuff geeky stuff wasn't so popular it wasn't so you know as big business wasn't as mainstream as it is now like you know games and science fiction and fantasy wasn't you know you were treated as sort of a pariah even in some sense but nowadays it's more big business because it's been more it's become more socially acceptable and you know I think the reason why you know the so-called normies they they didn't like nerdy stuff because it's the the essence of both science fiction and fantasy is that you are supposed to care about a world that is completely different to um, to the real world like the concerns um, the concerns of any you know like, like this one you're you're I don't know, there's a couple of countries fighting and there's some weird religions you don't really understand about. Like, you know, the normie would think like, well, it has no relevance to my life, whereas the, the geek or nerd or whatever, they, they just, you know, be into the story and they, like, particularly, they, they would like it, especially like myself. One reason why I like uh, science fiction and fantasy is because it gives me the uh, the excuse, sort of to uh, well, yeah, it's escapism, but it's you know it, it gives my mind respite from the real world and problems of the real world, and instead I can focusing focus on you know these concerns. Uh, that have no bearing on reality. But you know, let's say that you know, ancient evil, you know, Sauron is gonna take over and destroy the world or whatever. Like you know, that is uh, you because the the characters in a fantasy world, you know, in Lord of the Rings, they they are concerned with these issues. They, they don't care about whatever concerns you may have about, you know, this, this or that nation going to world war or the inflation or whatever. And this is, uh, it's liberating, but like back in the day especially, uh, the, the normies were like, oh, that's just a waste of time and it doesn't benefit you because for the normie, it's, uh, it's sort of like, there's this certain sense of practicalism to it, I think. Like they, like, oh, what can I get out of it? Like, how does it benefit me if I, you know, watch your science fiction movie or play your silly fantasy game or whatever? Because, like, um... I rem remember when I was in high school and I was interested in philosophy and stuff and there was one classmate who asked me like what good does it do for you to be you know uh, never mind I don't want to know about your flying saucers but like the the guy asked me like you know what good does it do how do you benefit from you know learning about philosophy or thinking about it or anything like that like, you know, does it give you money or does it, does it give you... Sure, give me candy. Yay, let's empty this bottle quick so I can put British shells in it. By the way, don't tell Brother B. Okay. Oh, gee, I wanted to hurry up and this bottle. Don't say... Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. But yeah, you know, the, the classmate asked, like, you know, how do, does, it, does being interested in philosophy give you, uh, you know, women or money? How does it benefit you? And it, it's like, you know, that was philosophy, but I, I do think it's uh, sort of similar to be interested in, you know, this completely fictional story. It's like, okay, th this story, you know, it, it deals with humans and and there are some, you know, human, humanly relatable issues, no matter what. But you know, especially back in the day, uh, 
it wasn't that popular to be interested in completely fictional stuff. Okay, I'm reading him some book. Long, long ago, there was a man, woman named Zephyr. I've read this before, yeah. Yeah, yeah, skinful termites, whatever. Ah, oh, yeah, the toilet. Yeah, you got maybe. Maybe Billy is willing to. There was some item in the toilet. Yeah, you received dirty prices. Dirty, so I put it back. Uh, okay, can I wash it and then take it? Okay. I guess that. I don't know if there would have been something I could have done. This is the room I remember. Uh, because I think it's something like I need that there are some books I got here previously. Like, do I have to get all of them? Did I put some of the books to the shelf just right now? Like maybe I only put one or two and I need more books to open it completely or something? It's like something's there but you can't go inside. Some kind of haunted house. Shiver! Okay. Hey, where is everyone? Whisper to me where they're hiding. Uh, is there a whisper button? Oh, why aren't you playing with them? Don't be silly, I can play with girls. Well then, are you saying I can't play because I'm a girl? You're okay. Yeah, yeah sure. I want something loot from you, you know. Uh, books or something. No, they're saying the same crap as before. This room then. Oh yeah, it's this kid with the bell. I can cheer myself up. Sort of sad. Guess we can't go in there then. Fine, let's just go to the um, E Tone headquarters. Is anybody still up here? Yes, there is one kid. Why are they so short? Let's see if we can talk to this running kid still before we go. I'm working out in case we have a crisis, so don't bother me. Okay. Very interesting and a waste of time. But let's see if we if there's something supposed to happen in the uh, E Zone headquarters place. I 
Yeah, these were the ones that die easily, if I manage to damage them, that is. Yes, yes, I know, animations take time, please hurry up. Yeah, it's only like two very, you know, basic hits and they're down. Doom, 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 doom. Ooh, over 1000! didn't even see what I got, but I'm gonna assume it's nothing too exciting. Because I clicked it away so quickly. It was this Ethos dig site. Have I been here? No entry, Ethos personnel only. I said you can't go in. Uh, but I'm Ethos, right? You know, Billy? Fine, I guess we have to go here later, like, you know, when the story tells us to do so. Yeah, now it's a, a hot, hot. I don't think that it was a dot before on the map. Now that we went there, it's sort of activated. Where was the beach to go up there? Okay, I can see it already. Is there any secret places here? Secret beaches. Oh, what's that? Some sort of cockatrice thing. Griffin. Yeah, go back to Harry Potter and Gryffindor or something. I don't know a great deal of Harry Potter. I Never read the books, never seen any of the movies, but still not. Oh, it was over 1000 and still standing, so this one is quite tough actually. Yeah, it, there's already uh, like at least 2000 damage in, in it, and it's still standing strong. So, okay, this, this enemy is tougher than expected. Hard smash. Finally. Fang. Ethos headquarters. Why are they are there like quotation marks? Oh, okay. This, this, what happened here? Really? Are you alright? What happened? I don't know. <coughs> Suddenly I had a gunshot. Hey, hang in there. Hey. Is it the dad? Did he go crazy or something? It's no use. He can't survive with those wounds. Why? Why did this happen? This is... This is father's shell casing. Yeah, that's what I said. Damn it! Don't tell me he stormed into the Ethos headquarters in desperation. It's possible with him. Oh, 
anymore. He's not confessing his crimes here. Yeah, I can't loot hit the body or look for, I don't know, key cards or whatever. Okay. Nope. Can't examine this body either. At least nobody took a shit on the altar. It's interesting, we can see up here there's the it's not platform like the concourse or something. There yeah, there's somebody dead up there too. But we cannot go there from this place. Wow! Is this ninja? Don't move! Who are you? There are still survivors! This looks so weird. Oh, so many assassins. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Ouch. Ah. Uh. Maybe it's not worth it because there's so many enemies. What's that? Uh, wait. He can heal, right? Yes. Okay, he can heal himself. Doesn't do much damage, but it's like mute. Uh, okay, yeah, this does damage to all enemies, so that's pretty neat, I think. If it actually does damage, like a decent amount. It's 200, and, yeah, I, I guess. Maybe one of them dodged it, but it was so quick I didn't really see. Rhythm shock. Rhythm is a dance. Uh, Hell lost. Yes, go back to whence thou came, foul beast. Oh no, stop. dead um, let's try gun holly is it enough to kill it no Adams I mean. yeah shot in the face should be enough These guys, why are they attacking the ethos? Watch out, Billy. These guys are professional assassins, even though they're land lovers. What? Then everyone, come on, Billy. They have to be survivors. Let's help them. So we came from this entrance. Is this survivor? No. Nope. Oh yeah, this is the confessional, I think. Yes, okay. Nobody's confessing to us because this is like the priest's side. Oh, a random encounter, okay. Kill you next turn! What? 
So does it mean they're gonna do some like mega attack? So I have to kill them before they get a turn or something? Is that how it works? Not crack. Is it enough to kill? Yes, it is. And then, yes. Cyclone kick. <laughs> I think it's so random. <laughs> He's dead too. Oh yeah, I think I did some. Or did I do damage? I am really confused. Very confusing day today. Ah, oh, there's a door here. Kitchen. Oh, he's a survivor. Whoa! Suddenly some men in black came in and killed everyone. I hurried and hid so they didn't find me. Uh, okay. So we, we are not like, you know, telling him, oh, escape or, you know, we are gonna rescue you or like, you know, guide you out. Nothing like that. I guess not. No, I'm in the ladders and they attack me. That's not fair. Um, I'm curious, like, what is this he 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 attack exactly? But I don't really want to find out either, like, if it's some super effective attack. Can't use F ability. Dice level ups, but their agility never ooh, look alone. Agility never increases. It seems with level ups, so I guess you can only boost it with items and stuff or equipment. So let's check the part. Look alone. So accuracy and evasion up. Okay. Yeah, let's 
se quiero usar mejilla la imagen. Then can we actually? Okay, let, let's try to go up here and see if this guy is still alive. Nope. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. Okay. How about these doors? Ah, there's not a door, there's <laughs> a light. See, because the, those there's a light in front of those doors, but there's, no li there's only light, no, no door. It's this place. I don't really want to go to a boss fight yet because I still want to explore and so. See your bum holes. Um, yes, I blow. some nuts. I'm not sure if they are male or female this. I don't know, magician, cleric, monk, enemies. Oh, -ho. Yo, Ito! All that awaits those with the ethos is death. Also, a great deal of damage. That was big more. Twin Sonic. Yay! Yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's try to kill these monkeys before they. Act. And we succeeded. That's good. I'm trying to unlock a new death blow because uh, Billy here has this, you know, death blow with three uh, triangles and one cross. But other characters don't have it, but I assume they can unlock it if I keep doing it. I think that's how it's supposed to work. What's going on? These guys in black are gonna kill all of us who are with the ethos. Okay, I'm not gonna go there yet because oh, there's chests up there. Because this, they, you know, that was a scripted event. So I should go there last, right? There might be more scripted events and stuff. Sorry. 
But yeah, this you know the, the story in this game is really dynamic. Like I think they spend a lot of effort to make it like you know to make sure things keep moving and it's not like you know too predictable. Because like you know much earlier on when we tried to like you know get rid of the prime minister Shakan in. Uh, in the uh, uh, army capital and stuff, I was thinking like, okay, I guess it's, we're gonna do it, but then, then we failed. And he's still the uh, prime minister or puppet prime minister of Nave. See if I should do some healing. It's not like no, I'm not gonna waste the mana yet because nobody is missing even like hundred HP or anything like that. What's this place? Pontiff. <gasps> what is all this about? Who are you all? You're still pretending you don't know anything. You may be the leader of Ethos, but you don't know when you're beaten. It's all been exposed. Rebelling against us will cost you your life. Ah! The pontiff. Damn you. <laughs> yes, yes, you you like to kill I know. He's dead. Hell blast from hell's heart. I stab at thee. Oh no, missed. Whip, whip, whip. Oh, he's still alive. Cheeky bugger. Okay. Hey, where did the body go? Oh, okay, we can go through the door. I guess Billy has the card key or whatever. So we're here. I think we've been to this room before. Yeah. Ah, yeah. This is very famous. What's happening? Those men in black are killing the Ethos people indiscriminately. Yes. No. Why do you ask what's happening and then answer? Because that is exactly what is going on. <laughs> I don't know. This is. The dumbest comment in the game so far, I would say. Oh, it's like... Uh, you, you can call it just dumb, because it's actually smart, because it's the, you know, correct description of the in events as they are transpiring. Oh, there's some elevator. I, I don't want to go down there yet because this this seems even more like you know the the boss is gonna be down there. So let's let's go the other places first. Is this like some sort of experiment chamber or something? Like some test subject is supposed to be there. That of reminds me of, of oh, like alien resurrection. I don't know. Are you all right? Please answer me. I don't 
No, anything. I can't talk any more than this. Hang in there now. Don't worry, we came to here to help you. What? She, what? Got to contact Sheva. A Sheva. So they made maybe Ethos made some deal with Sheva. Sheva? Did she just say Sheva? Oh, it's a guy. I thought it's a woman because it looks like the person has really long hair or something. But of course, men can have long hair too. I have long hair. Still, still looks like you know. It reminds me of the chick from the you know, Galaxy Express 999 or whatever it is. It's just different color scheme, but otherwise looks like the blonde chick or sort of like her attire. And These wounds are horrific. He might not survive in this condition. Let's call my crew on the eagle to come and help him out. I contacted Tracel to come and help me. So he's taking care of Less Hurry. Okay. I, I guess that's good. This guy? Oh, my best buddy! You came all the way to save me, eh? Well done, well done. Someday you'll, you'll brag about saving me. Adios, amigos. Who is this guy? Like, is he gonna join our party at some point, or is it just like some random joke character? I, I still don't really know what's up with this guy. Okay, there's the elevator thing down. How about can we go this way? We can. Oh, the stairs up. Oh no! Enemies! I guess I should heal after this fight. Ouch. Uh, maybe I'll take this. I think this was the he he guy. I'm not 100% sure. He's dead now anyway, so... Yeah. I like the shotgun in the face, that, that feels good. Ow. Ah, not dead yet. Uh, L blast. Yeah, fine. Okay, now's a good opportunity to heal. Now this, this game is weird, like, I, so the, I think before the fight started, the transition to another screen triggered, yet then, you know, a second after that, the, the fight was triggered, so I had to go through the fight, and then I was automatically transported to the next screen after the fight, because I, I didn't, didn't move at all yet. Gold nugget, part nugget. Ah, he he he. This is so annoying. Do, um, 
gun holic. Nice. Big gun. Oh no, he's not dead. Yeah, okay. That that wasn't very polite. <sighs> so yeah, and I now I saw what the he he kill you next turn stuff actually does. It doesn't actually kill you, but like reduces the character to one hit point. I guess you can say that was for science. So, I guess we cannot rest here or anything. Ah, this place. Aquas of the X. Seal arm. I guess it's for gears, right? There's a seal. Seal damage down 50%. Well, it's, you know, it's not gonna help against those enemies. Because I'm not where using them. Or can I actually use the gears down here? I don't think I can. But these guys. Mummies or something. Wells. Uh, I've seen them before, but not, not in this compound. Bang bang. Let's see if I use like fire. Oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't mean to click twice, but I hit my finger slip. So yeah, because it's different area. So it would have been better to you know kill all of those three, but whatever. But at least it was quite effective. Savage, how can I deal with it? What is Billy doing? Is he praying? Does he do that every time after a fight? I can't summon the uh, gears, which you know doesn't surprise me. Something's over there. It's impossible to get through here you know, like this. Uh, what does it mean? It's like an invisible force field, or what? What, what, what is this? I, I am confused.
Something's over there, okay? Is that a gun god? What was going on? I am very confused by this. <gasps> oh no, a dead priest. Bishop! Are you alright? Oh, Billy! You're safe! The purge has begun! We sinners have brought God's judgment on mankind. God's judgment? What do you mean, Bishop? He's gone. What was he trying to tell me? Purge? I wonder what he meant. Oh, there's another guy here, and we're not interested in him. Yes, there's nothing here, but suddenly enemies just, you know, come from under the bed or something. Oh no, dodge. Sorry. Ya. Oh, it's dead still. For your note, I just farted. Maybe you don't feel it, hear it, or you cannot smell it, but it is true, it is not fake news. Let's try this again. I, I don't know if the, this is truly the way to unlock the attack, or maybe other characters cannot unlock that particular uh, dead blow, but I'm sort of assuming they can. I do like Billy because of the <laughs> holy light ability. Like, you know, he, he has to use bullets and you have to buy them every now and then. That's a bit tedious. I guess this is the corridor. Oh. Purge, purge! But we are the ones here purging, actually. You know, the world of these assassins. Assassino. Oh, that was like Billy's, um, you know, endurance or whatever is not that high. Billy. I said stop. Okay, he's dead now, so I guess they technically they will, but I have to res resurrect him. Uh, no, she doesn't have any heat. Well, I, I sort of remember she she had, but I guess not. Hee hee hee! Kill you next turn. Well, I'm gonna kill you this turn. So there. For a second, I was like, what am I doing? 
because there's nothing here anymore. Can I open the door or not? Well... Okay, let's try uh, this time to kill a big batch of them with magic and don't, don't screw it up. I, I'm telling myself not to screw it up. Because uh, I, I seem to enjoy screwing things up occasionally. Ah, uh, no, it's... Sorry, I failed. So yeah, because the... When I used to fire on a, a single wells before, it did like almost 400 damage, but now it was like the amount of damage was sort of split between the three, so... Then I don't know how useful it will be. Like the spell. Because, you know, I have to do manual attacks anyway, so I guess it's just better to beat them up. Snap, snap. Okay, the door. Once again, I opened the door before the fight. I triggered it, but it happened after the fight. This, this game is so weird sometimes. Yeah, there seems to be nothing here. Except a random encounter. Headhunter enough to kill it. No, no, that's sad. So, oh, okay, hell blast should be. Yes. Punch. La, 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 la. Um, okay, hell blast should be enough. Shove the shotgun into his ass. Once again, I had opened the door like previously. A new fight immediately. Ah, it's a bit too fight happy. Sorry. 
все ее. No, it's not dead. He he he. Yes, it's it's good when they do it at this point because you know they're already almost dead and there's only one of them left, so it's easy to kill. Even when I miss attacks like that, you still die. <sighs> Let's do some healing. Yes, I don't really need to heal anyone extra really. Okay, now I'm back here already. Here, but I think the real boss place is not here after all, so let's check what's in here. Or is it? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, here, 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 here comes our prey. Woohoo! Kill it! These assassins, are, are they even human? They're like, you know, some goblin level intelligence. And now it's different kinds of enemies. I'm confused. Yeah, I think Hell Blast is probably the fastest attack from this guy. I'm not sure. I like to use. Well, usually we just just do buttons because of some of the other combos are more bot buttons, so it's like you know, more room for screwing it up. But let's try to screw it up. Hmm, still not dead. What? The canary is this? <laughs> this could be fun. Okay. Plenty of enemies coming for me. So the top one is killing me. And the middle one. Okay. So they have to be killed first. have here lots of dead bodies what's going on each owner in charge of ethos military but they've been killed without signs of struggle oh no it's the middle pope can I take the book We got beat, they just attacked suddenly. It's just like the other room.
So he's still alive and he's just, yeah, whatever, yeah, I see a Isaiah got beat, you deserve to die. He, 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 oh, is the middle guy. Okay, middle guy has to die first. He didn't kill Billy, so that's gonna kill, kill Billy. I didn't check this room yet, right? I think I did. There's only one body here. Still, yeah, very dead. Okay. So nothing of value. Rhythm is a dancer. Some cracks, I mean, crack some nuts. Surya. <laughs> he dodged the last attack and then died. I sort of respect that. And once again, I, I opened the door before the fight started. Huh? Who's this? What happened to the man from the deep nose? He hasn't been back since he left the room earlier. What's happening? I'm scared. What's going on outside? Suddenly Ben in Black Storm being here. Each of us are fighting back for us now. So, okay. So we're not gonna send like people from the Yggdrasil to save these children or anything. But at least, like, you know, I guess these people are not Etones, so they are not in danger. So I, I guess the, you know, assassins have some sense of honor or something. But okay, yeah, this. I guess we have to go to the elevator thingy in the basement, like the one stolen from Akira or Aliens or whatever. This place, I think. Yes. Way. Yeah, it should be this way. And a fight. Sonic. 
I don't really get what this net attack does. Like, stop? Like, I guess it slows them down or something, but... Like, it's not like in Final Fantasy VII, that, you know, stop actually stops you. Like, you know, you don't move at all, like, stops time around you or something. But okay, yeah, it's the, the time is not moving for... What's his name? I don't know. Bart. Once again, it's, it's so common, like, when you open the door, the door opening triggers, but then uh, so does the fight. And after the fight, the door opens um, automatically. It, it's so weird. Like, I've hardly ever seen something like that. And I've played a lot of JRPGs. Uh, because it's been a long time since I found a save point, so I'm gonna say do a save state, like you know, in case we just happen to die or something suddenly. I don't want to have to go through all of that again. Once again, the door opened and then there was a fight. Unless it's like, uh, or maybe it's like intentional that. You know, the, the enemies sort of come through the door. Is, is that the, the reason why this keeps happening? I think it was this one with the tee hee hee stuff. Because he's scratching his balls, Billy, just before he shot, shot his load on the guy's face, so no. <laughs> Ouch. Dynamic. So I think that's uh, attack, like a death blow, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I open the door. Judging from our position, this room is right under the cathedral, which could mean that this is the Ethos data bank. The Ethos data bank. Oh. I am sure of it. This has to be the Ethos data bank. This data bank holds all the information concerning the Ethos. From the past to the present, everything. This facility is strictly off limits to us. Only the Bishop class can ever enter this area. Yeah, but even then this place is a damn well equipped. Look at it. I say a facility of this magnitude would even, even be hard to find in Solaris. Why would the Ethos have such a setup? Wait a minute. This is Solaris's equipment. So, Solaris? Don't be so surprised. No matter how vast this world is, such ad advanced equipment as this could only come from Solaris. The Ethos has been assaulted by someone. And in the basement we find a Solarian facility. Hmm. The plot thickens. What's going on here? What is this place? Hey, Billy, you know anything about this? Don't ask me. How would I know? This is my first time in here. Then I'll let's investigate. Satan, what is that being displayed here? It looks like some transmission record from somewhere. We might be able to find some clues here. Wait one moment. Alright. Now I am able to transmit it to the main displays. Ignace conflict status. 
Report Sam also transfer slower is considering battlement health to condition estimates and adaptation. From the AVE gears from level D3 to D3 to the Kislev gears at level D2 current balance uh, 4 6 report from Nurture uh, report from Shakan of the Ignis Diocese due to the intervention of an uncertain factor correction is needed progress of the operation has declined by 30% what the heck is this why is Ethos looking into this kind of stuff on top of that, that Shakan's a bishop? Wasn't he excommunicated from the Etho 17 years ago? I, I didn't know he's, he'd been excommunicated. I didn't even know he ha had any part with Ethos or that he... Or that Ethos had been around that long. I, I thought... He, I, I'd gotten the impression that Ethos was something quite new, but apparently not. That can be the case if he's been sending in regular reports. Look here! The destination of sort of resources collected by the ethos through the trade with each area. All the resources are being sent to the onto the Solaris homeland. But, but why would the ethos be sending supplies to Solaris? I don't know. This is in the Solarian language, but it's been encoded. Hold on! Um, what is this? Come on, hurry up! Hold on, it's hard to translate this stuff. Um, uh, lands, great war, collapse, re-education, post for rehab plan based on schedule for building gate foundations. Lambs 2 to 4 or to Ignis, 5 to 8 to Aquili, 11 to 16 to be uniformly distributed. But in put into practice, Ethos established as an organization. Supervision by Elders Conference, supervision by the Gazelle. The ethos is. Huh? It's all a front. The Ethos is really a subsidiary organization of Solaris. Dun dun dun. So, what does this all mean? In short, it's like this. 500 years ago, there was a great war that occurred between Solaris and the land dwellers. It's not clear what the outcome was, but after the war, Solaris feared another land dweller revolt. So Solaris built a gate or barrier that separates Solaris land from the rest of the world's land. The land dwellers who lived within this gate were made to dwell as separate races and were thus supervised carry out the actual supervision Solaris established the ethos. So the ethos is actually controlled by the Gazelle Ministry, a Solaris highest governmental body. So yes, the ethos is really a front of our subsidiary organizations working for Solaris. The excavation findings, goods and natural resources from the surface are transported to Solaris by the ethos. This also includes human resources or people used for manual labor and so on. Basically, this is this here is the window between the planet's surface and Solaris up there in the skies above. According to these records, there's been an enormous amount of goods and people transfer transferred to Solaris. Aha! I caught a typo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, the ethos has been manipulating us, huh? Anything else? The rest is mainly about population distribution and excavation records. The amount of detailed information about the races and their biological data kind of concerns me though. Here is a relatively recent record. It also indicates that there has been a large amount of people sent to Solaris. The majority of them were people who had come to the ethos seeking help or spiritual salvation. This can't be, I've heard nothing of the sort. So, what happened to all those people you've been coming here for help? They became Etones, like me. Surely not all of them. What happened to the ones that didn't become Etones, like the landlubbers? Well, uh, it's all becoming clear then, eh? How about it, Ellie? 
There are facilities in Solaris accommodating surface dwellers. I know. The third class citizen level earth dwellers of various races are regularly sent there as manual labor. So, this is the source of their labor supply? But that's impossible, how could that be? Even if that was the case, who would kill all those ethos people and why? This could be your answer. What? The 44th salvage plan. The 44th salvage plan? What kind of scurvy ridden gobbledygook is that? Isn't that what the captain of the Thames was talking about? Oh yeah, he, he did mention something, I guess. Yeah, he had some cooperation with the Ethos or Ethos. This is the only plan that is not linked to Solaris. It must have been initiated by the Ethos itself as a complementary Complementally, completely, completely independent project. I don't know, I got some brain damage, I guess. <laughs> it was commenced about 19 years ago. Allow me to display the data. Completed in investigation of the Zeboim city, which sank to the bottom of the sea approximately 4,000 years ago. After over 100 test digs, the city center has been ascertained. Excavation plan to begin. So, from this it appears that under Aquivi lies an ultra ancient civilization. They have been doing a huge number of test digs and obtained a vast quantity of resources from the ruins. Biological weapons, reactive weapons, mm, I see, so this must be their intention. My assessment of the circumstances is that the Ethos is attempting to break away from Solaris. And once free from its master, it is likely it will attempt world domination of its own. <laughs> I don't know, this, this politics are so simple yet complex. Attempt to break away and attempt world domination, that's an incredible plan. Yes, but the real intention of the ethos are quite obvious. The fact that they are not reporting the results, let alone the site's very existence, gives it away. The ethos is planning to revolt by monopolizing this ultra-advanced civilization's resources. Actually, such rebellions have been quite common. So, do you think Solaris is responsible for this attack on the ethos? Yes, that is probably it. Shall we move along? There could be more to find yet. The ethos, my ethos, my faith. Hey Billy, how long planning on being like that? Get a hold of yourself. Okay, there's like a huge rainstorm outside suddenly. Close the window, I don't know if you can hear the raindrops though. But yeah, it is, you know, Billy found out five minutes ago that his whole religion is a scam. It's like, come on, man, <laughs> don't be, step out of here. This is all just speculation based on circumstantial evidence. It would be best for you to confirm what is the truth with your own eyes. We are going to go on further. Sidon and Rico, would you please accompany the person from Sheva to the Ipresi? Oh uh, yeah, so there's one guy we actually saved uh, from here, but the others can just, you know, stay here and suffer or die or whatever. Like the children, we don't care about the children. Uh, okay. Probably nothing else in this room, I guess. I, I still can't believe it. The Ethos was that dubious an organization. What was it that I believed in all this time? Isn't that the very reason why I told you to back then that you belong with us? Verlaine! You're defiled, Billy. You left the Ethos and kept company with dregs who have no faith at all, and you lost sight of what it means to be defiled. I didn't expect it out of you. 
You who used to live only for your faith, you should have remained like us. But fear not, Billy, I shall cleanse you all. You live within me, you will become one with me in death. That's sort of gay and psychotic at the same time. Oh, what happened? What? Y you! Father! How could you do that? What are you getting flustered about, boy? It was a stun bullet. He is just taking a nap. You should have been able to tell by the sound it made. Besides, these murderers are not from the ethos. Look! That symbol! Yes, that's right. They're agents of Solaris. Probably an assassination unit under Stone's command. Yeah, I was thinking Stone was a bit sus. Like Bishop Stone or whatever. I got word that they were exterminating all Ethos members and hurried here, but I was too late. All Ethos affiliates have already been killed, except for those on some sort of salvage mission. You claim Verlaine and his men are assassination unit from the Bishop? How could you even say such blasphemy? That's right, we are servants of the Bishop. Our mission is to hand out judgment on fallen priests who and sinners in order to make them repent. Is that true, Verlaine? But why people from the ethos? The pontiff and his brethren deserve to die. They all allowed greed to tempt them into abandoning their duties as the ethos to pursue world domination. They passed their own death sentences when they allowed such desires to overtake them. And that's not all. Saving orphans and refugees, that may seem like works of mercy. But the little boys and girls kept here were actually used as means of satis to satisfy the desires of the pontiffs and bishops. Okay, this is very like, I don't know, political statement about the Catholic Church or something. Indulging in selfish desires, this is not conduct befitting priests. Such defiled li leaven have no right to speak for God. That is why we sent out on this purification work. They must atone for their sins. These are the bishop's orders. Even if that were true, we ha have no right to punish others. Judgment belongs to only to God. That is what we were taught, wasn't it? God? Where does such... Where... Where does such a being exist? Wasn't he just saying something about God and, uh, you know, they were not following God, they, you know, the, the priest that deserved to be punished, and now he's like, Oh, I don't see God up there. <laughs> you should know by now the ethos, how the ethos came about. It was an organization created by Solaris eons ago solely for the purpose of managing ignorant humans. Its doctrines are just deceptions designed to control the masses. The ethos use the two sweet fruits of the faith and technology well to skillfully manipulate global affairs and people's zeal. Thus they manipulated the ignorant masses to repeatedly continue their pointless wars. Eventually battle data on man and weapons gleaned from these wars were sent to Tol Solaris itself and analyzed to aid in ruling the entire earth. These intentionally perpetuated wars caused such psychological discord, but faith in God, salvation, was used as a cushion to soften the blow. It was a well thought out system, but the choice of managers was extremely poor. Or did you think that acting the part of a faithful servant of God would someday yield an answer from a great God somewhere? Can't you see that such a divine beings just never existed from the beginning? And you don't seem to realize this, but you yourself were passing judgment on sinners as much as we were. I... I have been passing judgment? That's right. Daily you have been dirtying your hands as an accomplice. Are you trying to take away my ultimate pleasure, Verlaine? <laughs> Verlaine, hang in there. Billy... Oh, Merlane, Merlane! Ah, uh, good for nothing, chatterbox. Yeah, just you has no right to live. Bishop, why Merlane? What in heavens are you trying to accomplish? 
I am the Inquisitor sent to Earth from Solaris. The Inquisitor? The status of Bishop is merely a convenience. My activity is on Earth. The Ethos was created as a Solaris sub-organizations and given the task of managing Earth dwellers. But over the years, the Ethos started to set up convenient doctrines for, me, for itself. It then went on to gather the ignorant masses and created a god for them to believe in. Then the Ethos is went so far as to plot the separation of from its creator Solaris. So Solaris had no choice but to eliminate all those who defy our rule and raise the flag of rebellion. The ones prepared as eliminators were e the Etone. Etones, the Atoners, the organization I established within the Ethos had two purposes. On the surface their aim was to eliminate the reapers or wells that run rampant on the earth, but that's not their only purpose. Behind the scenes we also had selected men like Verlaine. These men were responsible for observing and eliminating any corrupt people who appeared in the ethos. You didn't have the chance to learn of this since you left the ethos so early. Or actually, I just never told you. There was another role I wanted you to perform. Another role? Come on, there's so much exposition. Give me a fight or something. Billy, there are certain things in this world that you are happier not knowing. Even lies and deceptions can become the truth for some people of the earth. Particularly those not knowing the true nature of things or how these systems of things work. In fact, the God and Fate systems set up by the Aethos were the truth itself, were they not? Tell me, what other role were you talking about? What did Verley mean when he spoke of judgment? So, you wanna know? You can... But can you bear the full weight of the truth? Billy, if you can bear that way, then I'm willing to tell you. You believed that you were saving wandering souls, didn't you? That's why you carried out your cleansing of the reapers. Wells from the earth, right? In fact, it was all just another control system put in place by Solaris. But what's more, your saving work that very activity you believed in so much was in reality? You're talking too much nonsense. Father, you haven't changed at all since then. Have you, Stein? Stein? That's a name I haven't been called for a long time. Hearing that name vividly brings back a pleasant twinge of pain to the scars on this body. You know what I mean, Josiah? Huh, your brain is still isn't working right. Answer me, why do we have such a roundabout way of doing things? I just think I saw a lightning flash. But hey, I'm not outside so I don't have to worry. That's not worth wasting my breath answering. Actually, <clears throat> Is this some anti-semitic dog whistle? Like, you know, this guy is called Stone as like, your real name is Stein. Like, oh no, what is this game trying to do? That's not for wasting my breath answering, maybe already thought. Just considering it, my reward in life. Of course, that includes watching your agonizing death. I could succumb to the desire to slice up your body here and now drag out your innards. But I can't do that now, I have a matter to attend to elsewhere. That duty comes before any pleasure I could have with you here. I haven't the time to waste anymore. I won't let you that easily, Stein. I can't be bothered by insignificant wretches like you. Until the next time, and as a party, parting gift, I'll have these men entertain you. Bishop Stone! Well then, excuse me. Oh, and Billy, if you have something you wish to discuss, come see me later. I'll be waiting for you. Yay, finally a fight. But not the final fight. <laughs> it's just a regular fight.
I was sort of hoping for a boss, but uh, I guess not. At least not yet. Oh yeah, I unlocked a new attack for him. Let's use a nut crack for fun. Try to unlock the attack for her as well. Assassino. Yeah, dynamic. Yeah, this is the new attack. Let's try it out. Oh, very nice. Oh, and lots of damage. Level up 9 HP. I guess that's decent. Stein, you weren't going anywhere. Oh, let's do a little bit of healing. Can't loot their bodies, and then there's a um, fight, random encounter. Yes, thank you for your really slow animations for attacks that aren't threatening at all. Yes, I'll try to unlock the attack for as well. Just keep doing this. I wonder if there are any other, like, these death blow ending attacks they could unlock already at this point. Like, uh, I guess I can try to, you know, do some different combos and stuff. Of course, I could just, you know, look it up on the internet, but I, I, I don't really want to do it yet, at least. Just missed him. Looks like Chutsteins. There! That gear is huge! It's huge! The Solaris Mobile Gear, Al A mobile gear? What the heck is that? It may be big, but it's so, so slow to maneuver, so we'll be alright in our gears. But its firepower is phenomenal against a bigger target like a ship. Blam! It'd be all over. Wait a minute, that means... The captain and the crew are in danger from those land lovers. They don't know anything about this. I think the Drazil can catch up with the gear. Let's hurry up and go help Thames' fleet. So wait, are they gonna attack Thames or what? Okay, we left the place. I picked up the Aethos fleet and the Thames on the radar, sir. They're on the sea south of here. If we can travel at full speed, we can reach them in an hour. Alright, set sail for Thames. Aye aye, sir. First mate, the radar, sir. What is it? The radar just de detected an enormous object. It appeared straight above the fleet. Don't tell me stones there already. No, it's much bigger than that. 
I estimate it is at least 2,000 shards, so maybe it's Shavat, the floating city. That's gigantic, what in the heavens is happening? <laughs> there was just thunder, like, you know, outside. You probably didn't hear, it was like, what is happening? And then, rumble, rumble. That was very convenient, apparently it's probably affected only me. Like, I, I'm probably the only one who heard it. Well, you know, people around here probably heard the thunder, but you know what I mean. Well, I... Oh, what's going on? Light race? So, everybody's killed. Oh no, I guess it's just damaged seriously, but I did I think some ships sank. It looks like Dr. Eggman or... Robotnik flying turnip or a nuke mushroom cloud I don't know it's like um, the USS Enterprise and a Borg sphere had a baby that that's what it is you know from Star Trek and an ugly deformed baby all that was needed was to fulfill the duty now I sense a thought of greed a selfish creed, I question his faith. We have no need for an organization of fanatics. We will seek what they will, it's their nature. But too much is on you, something must be done. A reprimand is necessary. They are an expendable group, there is nothing we can do at this point. Yes, there is nothing more to gain from their continued existence. They've already done what we required. Currently, we're in process of dealing with each area responsible. Stein is in charge of dealing with Aquavi. We are in mind the need for a solu fitting solution. Or a final solution, is that what? <laughs> Didn't we just take care of that? Moreover, Krellian is rather exorbitant. It's only a molecular machine. Why is he placing so much importance on it? Humans and machines, it's all the same to us. Yes, they are all the same. So these are like aliens or something? Or, you know, possessed by interdimensional demons from another dimension? I don't know. I, I wish I could be able to save at some point. It's been like over an hour. Main gun 20 until the energy is recharged. Engineering ready for a full demonstration. Main ship military units are at standby. Cleanup is at 80%. Currently our heading is clear. Really, and there are several ships that have not been vaporized. What should we do? Lamps 0, 3, 0, 5, and 11 are damaged. Just retrieve the non damaged ones. Eliminate the rest of the trash. Use the test subjects. Wells for retrieval and elimination. We've confirmed the marker location of Stein. Of the 130 research and excavation sites, it's in the southernmost peak. Shock troops are entering Zeboin now. Uh, it's the underwater city for, from 4,000 years ago. Zeboin, I think they mentioned it. I see. The thing they have searched for over 500 years. This should be interesting. Releasing the wells. There's so much going on this in this game. Like these factions and... And you know, I, I have like a general idea of who they are, but ultimately like, you know, it's, there, there's some connections that I still, you know, they're, they're not clear, sort of, you know, spinning, but like, you know, all the, the mind map is not complete. But anyway, what's that? Did you see that huge fishbowl thing? What are you asking me for? Weren't the other salvager fleets almost blown away by one shot? Is this the way Ethos greets us? I seriously don't man. Why don't they have to uh, Why do they have to attack us? We only came to help with the excavation. The captain, who else Reapers? Reapers are coming out of the fishbowl thing in the dozens. 
What? Why this can't be happening? Launch the gears! Load the big gun! Captain! Alright, y'all! We're going to assist and rescue any of the survivors from the other ships! If all, at all possible while trying to retreat, and shoot down those wells with our two guns! Don't let those filthy wells get near our thumbs! Hans, look alive! Take the helm! We'll show that fishbowl thing how real men of the sea retreat! <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh. So are they... Are they a whales? That's floating in the air. Whatever, fine. I guess whales don't care about gravity or anything like that. Bonk. <laughs> I like the way it hit the, the deer. Bonk. I've detected a rescue signal. It seems that Thames is being attacked by a pack of reapers. So, this is the purging by Solaris that Stone was talking about. Let us make haste, otherwise the Thames will be destroyed by Reapers. Uh, okay, so my party... I'm gonna put Rico... I um, will be using gears, right? So, um, because they they have the least levels, that's why I'm choosing this part. Come on, game, are you gonna let me save today? Yes, thank you. Because um, I have to go somewhere. Because, like I mentioned at the start of the stream, I have a, a kid now, and I have to... Uh, go take care of him and stuff so I will have to uh, end the stream here but I'm Adventure Argonaut and um, I thank you for watching so uh, bye bye